So I was actually at a track meet when Dr. Martin called me. Katie sent us an email saying that we should call her, which is very mysterious. <laughs> right after I got off the phone call with Katie, I was like, Alexa! So he sent like 10 messages and he's like, we're finalists. And I was like, was no really way! Exciting. The Jeans and Space program fundamentally changed my life. I don't think I would have believed I was capable of writing up an entire experiment, of proposing science that was on par and ready to be done with what professional scientists were designing for the International Space Station. I was able to just have an idea and pursue it. Bess has been so helpful by giving me that confidence to know that I can do it. I think just seeing um, the progression from the application to the final presentation and just getting to see like all of the work that she put in and how really amazingly well she was able to master like some fairly complicated experimental design concepts that I just sort of threw at her. You get to really get to know some of what I firmly believe to be the most talented high school students in the country. I learned a lot about presenting scientific presentations. It's very different than what I'm normally accustomed to in high school. Today, I'm going to be discussing a proposal that seeks to study gametogenesis in space. So our experiment aims to use single cell analysis to discover the molecular mechanisms behind bone density loss. We're asking the question, how do neurons respond to spaceflight in the long term? When else would you get to present to astronauts and biology experts, so it's pretty amazing what Genes and Space has done for us. You definitely can see kind of relationships evolve when they're all together meeting at the ISS conference, I and mean, we hope that those are lasting connections that they'll maintain for years to come. The Genes and Space community is a term we use regularly, and we use it on purpose, because I adore all of the people that I work with as part of this. I still remember the moment when I found out I won. They gestured for me to walk up and I was just standing there going, oh my God. I was so honored that my proposal was the one selected because really any of them would have revolutionized space science. It is with uh, my honor and privilege to announce this year's winner of Genes of Space Competition with a team from Troy, Michigan, studying the neurological implications of long duration space flight, Jensen Sampson and Eugene Wang, please join me on stage. We put the experiments in the hands of the students and uh, we let them lead the way, which, which is extremely special. The fact that this can happen is amazing to me. I think the single most fun moment for me in terms of fulfillment was being down at uh, Cape Canaveral and actually watching the rocket launch because that's, you get to see and you're like, oh my goodness, those are my ideas going to space. And as someone who is, you know, this four year old trying to go to space, it's like, that's a part of me. Like, yes, you know, it's not me physically, but one day.